Hello, my name is Peter Russo. I am the executive chef here at the Mansions Forsyth Park. Today I will be demonstrating on how to make pasta from scratch. What we're going to need here is one cup of flour. And this is the tricky part. We're going to need one egg. We're going to take that egg. We're going to crack it into our flour. We're going to take the shells. We're going to take one half of the shell. We're going to fill it with water. Okay? We're going to take the other half of the shell and we're going to fill it with extra virgin olive oil. Okay? I'm going to go a pinch of salt. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the easiest pasta dough recipe. What we're going to do now is we're going to blend our ingredients. Break our yolk. And just kind of incorporate our flour with our egg and our salt and our water. Just so it kind of gets a little sticky, a little pliable. We're going to take our mixture and we're going to put it on the table. So we have basically that. And what we're going to do is just kind of knead it together. If you want a dough that's not flaking apart, and you want a dough that's not sticking to your hands. So as you can see, this dough is nice, it's not flaking apart, and it's not sticking to my hands. And there we go, we've made our dough for our pasta. Let's roll our pasta. We're gonna dust our table down a little bit, okay? So what we're going to do is I have my roller all the way out, okay? So that means the roll is the furthest apart, okay? I'm going to take my dough, I'm simply going to add it and just start cranking it through. You'll notice it'll fall out the bottom, just let it fall out. There's no reason to grab it or try to hold it because you floured the table or the tray, it should fall, it should fall out nice and easily. There we go, just like that. So what I like to do is just on the largest setting, just fold it two to three times. This is number three. There we go. Now, I'm not concerned the way this is shaped. For the first few times as you're making it, it takes a little practice to get it perfect, but this shape is fine. We're still gonna be able to make delicious pasta. So now that was all the way out at number 10. I'm gonna go down to nine. So I'm gonna take my dough, I'm gonna slip it in, go right to nine. Now I'm going to go right to eight. I'm just going to keep on going in each number. The thickness of your pasta is really a personal preference. It depends on how, how thin you like your pasta or how thick you like your pasta. General rule is if you're making a pureed sauce, like a tomato puree, you'd want to go down to like a two or a one. If you're making a bolognese, um, I would say go to down like to like a three. But again, that's all personal preference. Here's two. Three. Four. And there we go. We've made a good portion of pasta right here. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to cut our pasta down to length. And when I say length, I mean basically a tray that your pasta is going to fit on. So for our pasta, what we want to do is we want our pasta to kind of rest, so I'm just going to have a tray ready. I'm going to grab a little more flour, just flour our table a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to cut our pasta the length of our tray roughly. I don't want to make it too long because I don't want it hanging off the side. I'm going to go straight down there, straight down there. Okay, so now we're going to take our fettuccine die, just like in the smaller one, we just have a larger one here. We have our fettuccine die. And this is where I like to say in the class, this is where the magic happens. So we're going to add our handle to the, the smaller one. I'm going to just flour a little bit on top here. Okay. Move our knife out of the way. I'm going to grab our sheet of pasta. Now, I'm going to take 
the pasta, I'm just gonna let it lay on the, um, right in the center and I'm gonna start rolling our fettuccine through. Now as it's coming through, it's very important that before you allow it to fall onto the table, you wanna just gently hold it and let it come through just like this. Okay, I'm just gonna take it and lay it onto your uh, flour tray. This scrap that falls off, don't worry about that. If we wanted to roll more pasta, we could. If too much of it falls off and you wanted to take each individual strain and lay it out, you could, but um, it's really not, you really don't have to worry about that. All right, so here's our next sheet of pasta. Again, I'm grabbing it gently, okay, and I'm gonna put it, now I'm gonna take it, lay it on our tray. What I like to say is we need to get flour in between our cut. So I like to say tease it like you're a Jersey girl. We wanna tease it, we don't wanna mat it down, we wanna tease it nicely. So now we've made basically two portions of pasta here. And what I teach in the class is, once we've made our pasta like this, we can freeze it. And I'm gonna teach you how to freeze it. We take our pasta and kinda of just divide it up in half a little bit. We're gonna take our pasta, shake off any excess flour like that. We're gonna make a little nest. We're gonna put it in our hand. First pull it in about half. And we're gonna put it in our hand, give it a light little twist, and then roll it over just like that. This is what's called a nest. Again, I'm gonna take this pasta, the second batch, shake it off a little, shake off any excess flour, put it in my hand, give it a little twist. Okay, now I have these two little nests. I'm gonna take these nests, so if I had maybe five or six of these, take this, put this in your freezer. Freeze it for about a half hour, 45 minutes. Once it's frozen, take it out, put it in one of those glad Ziploc disposable containers, and then put it back in your freezer. So when you come home from work, the golf course, wherever, you have pasta ready to go.